I'm Gimbia. I was born into a beautiful world, a beautiful nation, and a beautiful home. Ours was a closely knit family. My father was a Muslim from the northern part of our country, while my mother, a Christian, held from me. And we, the children, freely practiced both religions without discrimination from any of our parents. For us, it was Bismillah and Amen, and everything in between. Though they were of different religions, the love between my parents was palpable. As children, we grew up in an atmosphere of love, respect, and tolerance. My two brothers were ever so protective of me. I was their little sister, the baby of the house, and I had them all wrapped around my little finger. And I could get away with virtually everything. I was a sports brat. Their sports brat. As my name in the eyes lies, I was their darling princess who was with Papa always. And Papa I was. And Nura. I had Nura.
marriage we had, still that love so strongly. Nora and I became inseparable. Our friends, and even our parents, came to respect the fact that what we shared was special. And it seems inevitable that we grow up to get married and spend the rest of our lives together. My head swelled every time he called me Gibi Anawa, meaning his princess. Indeed, life was beautiful. Everything was beautiful. Until, until life happened to us. that I needed in my father, brother, and Kimbia, they meant everything to me. And we were content with our simple life. Ah, Kimbia Nawa. Ah, I thought our life would always be a bed of roses. But how utterly wrong and naive I was. My life, my life was perfect up until a fight broke out between the farmers and the headsmen in my village. Then the soldiers came, shooting sporadically at everything in sight. People, people were killed, houses burnt. My entire village was in ruins. Only few families survived that carnage. After that military invasion in Dadinkoa, all that I had and held dear perished. My father and brother were killed, wasted by the soldiers. Soldiers who claimed to be intervening in a communal class. I mean, how do you stop a communal class by wasting more innocent lives? Just how? All I had left was me, myself, and I. My greedy uncle, the only surviving member of my father's family, took over my father's house, farms, and what was left of his cattle. I could no longer continue my education. Why, wanna, I, zo, zo, mana. So, you are now a man. Hmm? So, go out there and fend for yourself like a man. Hmm? Kajiko? Kajiko? The WhatsApp. Sorry. I was only 13 years old. At that tender age, I became homeless and perpetually hungry. I lost my self-esteem. I could no longer face Gimbia, the love of my life. I could not bear for her to see what my life had become. So I left Dadinkoa and wandered into a nearby village, where a Quranic teacher kindly took me in as an almaji. 
He took full care of me and taught me about Allah. I also made new friends. It was there I learned Sulu. Faith decides who we meet in life, Mura. It has been fated that our path would cross in this journey of life. Um, yes, you lost your family, uh, but it was through no fault of theirs or yours. In my own case, my family's predicament is self-induced. My father, a poor shoe shine, married more wives than he could handle. He married five, five, and the wives have in turn engaged themselves in a in a laughable fertility competition. With no thought for birth control, they keep popping out children every year. Children they can, they can neither feed nor clothe. My father's children are enough to start a village. We, we are 23 enough, 23, and the number keeps increasing. Oh, we wallow in abject misery, desperate poverty, and avoidable penury. You know the, the most unfortunate thing? My father and his wife are still not come to the realization that their problem is self-inflicted. In their impoverished state, they keep making more children. More children. And what does my father do? He, he sends us to different Spanish schools, far away from home. Far, far away from home. With no money, no food, no nothing. To acquire Islamic knowledge, he says, but I know better. I know he is merely trying to dodge the consequences of his irresponsibility. Sule and I became very close. We shared the same ideals. He was like a brother to me. And I was glad that things were finally looking up for me. Then, crisis struck again. The poor man no longer had sufficient financial support to cater for us his students. So, my friends and I took to arms begging and menial jobs for survival. These bows, these bows and our melodious voices became our stock in trade. music and in return got rewarded with food and money for our efforts. However, after a while, Sule convinced me that with our smartness and talent, we could do way better. So, in order to keep body and soul together, we resorted to petty crime. I would distract unsuspecting people with musical performances, while Sule picked their pockets. <laughs> Ours was a perfect partnership. About the same time, I got introduced to hard drugs. Nura. Sule. Nura. Zo, 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 zo. Sule. Taba. 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 Small small. 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 Small, 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 small
Semua semua. To, to, to join a movement working against the military. It is a firebrand movement that totally abhors and condemns the nefarious acts of overzealous military men. <laughs> and Sule, eh, eh, Nora, they are also preaching to unbelievers to come to Allah. Yes, and they are presently recruiting. And from what I hear, Nora, from what I hear, the pay is fantastic. Sule, ah, a movement working eh? against the military. Jowa. Sule, me are not interested in it. It is an opportunity of a lifetime. Ah, we will get to leave this hell hole. Nura. Nura. We will be handsomely rewarded. Nura. <laughs> It is a cause for Allah. We will be doing it for Allah. <laughs> and <laughs> Nura wait. And if we eventually get to become Matthias through the ultimate sacrifice, <laughs> 72 virgins, 72 virgins will be waiting for us in Aljana. 72 mobile virgins. <laughs> Yo, what? Okay, <clears throat> Nura, now tell me, don't you want to avenge the death of your father and brother? Uh, you don't have to give me a reply right now. Uh, just think about it. Think about it. I must confess, Sully got me at that point. I was charged up by the idea of an opportunity to avenge the death of my father and brother. The monetary rewards and promise of 72 virgins in Aljana were irrelevant to me. Yes, I joined the movement solely to seek revenge for the wasted souls of my father and brother.
home daily but I consoled myself with the fact that Sully was with me he had become like a brother to me and wherever I went Sully followed Sully and I joined the movement the same day and when we got to the camp I too seven was in top gear I was eager naive and guilty all at once I wanted to do anything and everything all at once. He at ease, but eager to please. Our commander, I him. Our commander is a fierce being, a no nonsense man to the core. Attention! 
attention 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 you see I say attention, I do it. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, we are here to fight the cause of Allah. Therefore, you must follow instructions and learn. Just so you are no longer boys, but men. Men to be respected by all and sundry. Just so it has got nothing. It has got nothing to do with him. Because even when the older men see you, they will respect you. Yes, sir. Respect. What did I say? Respect. Respect is the most important thing. That is a way to manhood. Respect. Whoever, I repeat, whoever is not with us is definitely against us. Therefore, all unbelievers must die. Repeat after me. Death to all unbelievers. Death to all unbelievers. Again. Death to all unbelievers. Again. Death to all unbelievers. Yo, uh, good boy. Hey, uh, Commander, sir. I, I don't understand, sir. Are we also to demand the respect from our parents? And what about our relatives that are unbelievers? Are, are we to kill them, too? Who permitted you to speak? Did I say you could speak? <laughs> Immediately after this training session, pack that thing and bury it. Yes, Commander. Here, you do not speak until you are spoken to. And as your commander, my word is law and final. Yes, sir. Wow. In order to answer his questions, firstly, we must demand respect from anyone and everyone. We have no parents. We are from Allah. And unto him shall we return. Secondly, as far as the movement is concerned, there are no friends, no relatives, no families. Therefore, we must kill all infidels as Allah has instructed us. Yes, sir. After... After that encounter with the commander, I began to fear that I had gotten myself involved with something sinister. I could feel it in me that the movement was wrong, and I believed Sule thought so too. Then, the most profound thing happened one day. <laughs> What are you doing? Are you deaf or something? I said, what are you doing? Will you get up and Oh, what is this, Sule? Eh? Why did you disrupt my prayers? How would you feel if someone did that to you while praying? Pray? Whatever for. You know we don't do that, yeah? The commander forbids it. Sule, Sule. Okay. And what is that? What is what? What is that thing you are reading? What does it look like? My Quran, of course. The holy book. It is my most treasured possession. It was my father's gift to me on my 10th birthday. You know I read it every day. Okay. Uh, you will not be needing that here. Say what? I said you will not be needing the book here. In fact. I want to be lying. I want to be lying. <laughs> What has come over you, Sule? What did you do that for? We are here for a serious cause, Nura. Books like that are a distraction that you do not need. Sule! 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 And Sule threw away my Quran. My most treasured possession, the only gift I had to remember my father back. 
I could not believe it. Alas, that was a wake-up call for me. Sadly, I realized that the evilness of the movement had gotten to Sule. He was no longer the Sule I knew. The movement, the movement is evil. They are not who they say they are. They don't know Allah or the true meaning of Islam. The movement preys on the poor, killing poor people indiscriminately. Either people who are worshipping their creator in a way they know how to, either in churches or mosques, or people going about their daily lives, making a living at the market, shopping malls, motor parks. Poor, innocent, helpless people. Like my father, my brother, like me. The movement isn't about getting vengeance for the wasted souls or setting crooked military men straight. No! It has got absolutely nothing to do with Allah or Islam. Do they even know who Allah is? Do they even know who Allah is? And then the women? The women in this camp that were abducted from their homes under the pretext of recruiting women to serve for the cause, to rape and incessant molestation has become their lot. They are being daily raped by the same men who are supposed to be their brothers in Islam. Ah, ah, I realize now that I am in the wrong place. Ha, ah, I have been scammed. I have been scammed. Oh, how my buy for the movement rises with each passing day. I have to escape. Yes, escape. I must, but not without her. I have to take her away from this camp of pain and misery. She is the only pure thing in my life right now. I have been here for two months now. Yes, this camp still feels spooky. I see children walking about like robots with mucus running down their noses. Children who should be without a care in the world, rebelling the blissful ignorance of childhood. But of course, they have been forced to grow up. Their childhood interrupted. Their innocence rudely snatched away. Children who are forced to form the beds of the brutes in this camp. Children who witness the bodies of their slain parents rotting before their eyes. I am not better than these children, am I? My parents are gone to the world beyond. Neither do I know the whereabouts of my brothers. Amnura, my soulmate, my friend, and lover. Only heaven knows his whereabouts. Oh, how I miss him. Life must have happened to him too. Life so sweet. Yet so sad. So beautiful. Yet so ugly. So full of hope. Yet so full of despair. Life, Life happens to us all. all. Been looking all over for you. The commander wants to see you immediately. Wait, Sule, wait. So the commander says we'll be attacking the Sokalatia car park and the mosque on Friday. Yo, uh, <laughs> the movement is moving. I am fed up. 
Sule. I am fed up. This makes no sense. Eh? These are our people, for goodness sake. Eh? Helpless citizens. Innocent people. This is life, Nura. This is life. And sometimes in life, the innocent suffers with the guilty. This isn't what I bargained for. No! This isn't what I bargained for. Why don't you go after those corrupt politicians? The bad leaders that have made life so difficult for us. Why have we turned on each other, Sule? Okay. The people, they are victims as well. We all are victims. I am tired, Sule. Just tired. Uh, totally fed up. <laughs> Come on, my friend. You sound like you need something strong to bring us more. Eh? Come. Lighten up, man. It isn't that bad. Come on. Come on. Ah. Tell me something, Sule. What? This movement, what is it really about? What a question. You have been in this struggle for so long and you still don't know. I no longer seem to understand it, Sule. Eh? It no longer feels right. Uh, you don't have to understand it. You don't have to understand it. Just support it. Support it and fight for it. Uh -uh. Ah. Support it and fight for it? Yo, what exactly is it. Keep asking questions like that and you will soon get what is coming to you. But Sule, we've been offered amnesty, right? Why don't we take it and end all this madness for goodness sake? I don't even think about it. Hey, the amnesty program is a trap. A trap? Uh, yes. Uh -uh. How do you mean? Oh, okay. Now, suppose we forsake the movement uh -huh. and surrender our arms. What then? What do you think will happen to us? The commander will have us hunted down and killed in the most bizarre manner possible. That is not true. Uh -uh. The government will protect us. You sound like a complete fool right now. A total fool. Uh, you mean to tell me that you believe all that nonsense about government protection? Who is the government? We are the government. All those big men with their flowing gown who visit our camps in the dead of the night, in their big cars, all those men, bearing bags of money, truckloads of arms, ammunition, and heavy weapons. Who do you think they are? Where do you, where do you think we get our, our cars, motorcycles, and sophisticated force from? Eh? Have you ever stopped to wonder why this camp has never been invaded yet? Have you? Oh, you think, you think the government does not know where we are? Wise up, man! Oh, that's true. We practically lack nothing in this camp. Yo, we've become almost invincible. Exactly. Doing as we please without any fear. Wait, Sule, are you suggesting that uh, the government is involved uh, uh, somehow? Uh, 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 I am not suggesting anything you probably have not guessed on your own. What I am merely trying to tell you is to use your head. Use your head, Nura. Remember what that former head of state once said? He said... <coughs> Can you see me? <laughs> if his urgency lasts more than 24 hours, the government has a hand in it. Think about it, man. Think about it. The big men, ah, the big men, they are the predators and we forever remain their prey. Exactly. All these are for their selfish and personal interests. Not so. It has got absolutely nothing to do with Allah or Islam. Ah. But, but Sule, can't you see we are being used? Oh, but my man, there is no easy way out of this. There is no easy way out. We stand up for life, remember? We all die here. We die. So, whichever way we lose. Then, why don't we take the right path then? And which is the right path? All the paths are wrong. The entire world, the whole world is wrong. The entire universe is wrong. I disagree with you, Sule. Ours is a religion of peace. And if truly we are fighting for the Creator, then we don't need to take up arms. Yes. If you think about it logically, 
you will realize that there is absolutely nothing to fight for. Our fight is needless. How, how do you mean? Okay. Allah is the greatest, right? Uh, yes. And He created us. No. Not so. Where exactly are you going with My this? My point is that we don't need to fight for Allah. Sule, if Allah is the greatest, then he definitely does not need us to fight his battles. The created need not fight for the creator. Sule, the created need not fight for the creator. Think! <coughs> you are still making no sense. But Sule, we can live. Eh? We can live now. Let us surrender our arms and embrace peace. Peace? Yes. Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace is a relative concept, man, and so is war. Peace and war are symbiotic. How, how do you appreciate peace without war? Just how? Stop your sanctimonious bullshit, man. You are like the rest of us. You are as dirty as I am. Holding the gun in one hand and the Quran in the other will not take you to heaven, Nura. That is it. That is it, fully. Now you listen to me and listen very good. I am sick and tired of all these atrocities being committed under the guise of, of serving a, a, a creator that actually uh, uh, proposed peace. I want true peace and freedom, Sule. I want out. Hey, you, you want out? Yes. Hey, hey, hey Nura, hey, remember what happened to Tenimu who tried to leave the other day? Yes. Uh, the commander uh, had to dig his own grave and he was slaughtered and buried in it. <laughs> and Anjuma. And Yusuf and Jibri. Yes, and... yes. They were all killed for wanting to leave the movement. What's your point? Watch it, Nura. But Sule, Sule, we can escape. I'm begging you as a friend and a brother. Let us leave this camp of death and pain. Eh? All we just need to do, Sule, is to plan it meticulously. Think about it, Sule. Think of all those that have died in this camp due to one sickness or the other. Think of all the women that we've raped. Sule, think of all the lives we've wasted. Think of our members. Sule, our members who we bury in shallow graves on a daily basis. Does all this, does all this glorify Allah? Or does it in any way dignify us as human beings? Surely you must be fed up. Sule. Shut up! Shut up! It seems you've lost it. <laughs> Frankly, it seems you never even had it. Yes. You have to face it, Sule. We've been recruited into a false movement. Can't you feel it? Can't you see it? Oh. All I can see is that you, you are gradually going crazy. You are going crazy. This cause is for Allah, and there is no going back. A cause for Allah. Yes. <laughs> a cause for Allah, he says. Sule, when last did you commune with Allah? I ask you, when last did you pray to him? Or what exactly is the place for the true worship of Allah in this purposeless movement? Watch your tongue, Nura. Watch your tongue. I will not stand here and watch you spew up rubbish about our revered movement. The commander wants to, 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 to see you right now, and better don't stay long. And, Nura, what is, what is this recent fascination with the mask? You now wear it always. Why? It is none of your business. So. Come here, follow me to my room. Whatever for? 
How dare you question me? I merely asked what you want me to do for you. Oh, I have been observing you for a while now in this camp. You seem to think you are better than everybody else, not so? I don't know what you are talking about. Oh, but you win! You win! What I want can equally be taken right here and right now from you. Lie down and undress! What? I said lie down and undress before I knock some thick pieces. Ah, Leave her be! Leave her be, Sule, and get off her right now! Why is that? She's mine, okay? She belongs to me! She, she belongs to you? Yes! She belongs to every one of us, man. And were they not brought here to satisfy our needs? She's not here to satisfy your needs. You lay your filthy fingers on her once more, and I promise to snuff life out of you. Easy, man. Easy. Ah. What is so special about her anyway? Why do you take her, her, her issues personally? Wait, is she not the daughter of an infidel? That was how you, you almost killed our last two days, just for making advances at I am warning you, Sule. Stay away from her! Whatever, man. Are you okay? I am fine. Thank you. I, I can't thank you enough. Why have we women been made pawns in this struggle? Why? What exactly is our crime? I wish I knew. Thank you once again. This is the third time you'll be coming to my rescue since I got here. I remember how you almost strangled the other man last week when he tried to Certainly, you have become my guardian angel in this camp. What's your name? The masked ones. You don't ever pull off your mask. You don't talk much either. Why do you do it, though? Do what? Why do you always rescue me? I do what I have to do. Except that you don't have to do it. Yet you do it anyway. Thank you. I am grateful. Your voice, it sounds so familiar. That is because our paths have been crossed in this camp. No, not here. You sound like someone I once knew from another life. Who? A man, a young man. Tell me about him. What can I tell you? He was everything to me. My soulmates. We were meant to be together forever. Gimbi ya se mutaba jigida. Makanura se mutaba jigida. to us. <laughs> what about Asabe? Gone. Huh? And tell her to? Also gone. The movement? Oh. Uh, how did you get here? I was misled. Misled? Yes. Oh, by, by who? Please tell me. After the soldiers invaded my homestead and destroyed my family, in my hopelessness and misery, I left Dadenkoa for another village. There I met the people of this movement. Kimbia, I was brainwashed. 
They told me that the movement was a cause for Allah. All I wanted was to be a soldier for Allah and to avenge the death of my father and brother. Hmm. May their souls rest in peace. Amin, amin. Yes. You disappeared almost immediately after the death of your father and brother. It was rumored that you had died. Why didn't you come to us? My family would have taken you in. I couldn't, Gimbia. My pride wouldn't allow me. Ah, I searched all over for you. No one knew your whereabouts. Yes. For a few months, I lived a despicable life that I am now not proud of. I needed money to survive, but I also wanted to do something noble. All I wanted was to, to fight the cause of Allah and to avenge the wanton killing of my father and brother. Hmm. Which was why I joined the movement. Yeah. I assume you were also taken by the very thought of ravishing 72 Nubai virgins in a sensual paradise. That is a disdainful joke. I'm sorry. Uh, can I ask a question? Uh, what Please. exactly is the movement about? The same question I've been asking everyone since I got here. Frankly, I don't know. And I doubt if the commander himself does. The movement has become an illness, an epidemic, a mass mental illness. Hmm. Are you not going to ask how I got here? I don't have to. I know. You can't begin to imagine. Wait. You do? Yes. You mean you know how I got here? Yes. I, I don't understand. Gimbia, mm -hmm. I was part of the team that raided your family house. <laughs> the, the, the commander, the commander knows that I am from Dadin Koa. So for that reason, he insisted that I be part of that operation. I, I was among those that invaded your home. You know what are you saying? You know what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Ah! 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 Forgive me, Gimbia. I had no choice. I had to feign illness on that day in order to escape. In order to escape sleeping with your mother. I am sorry, Gimbia. I was helpless. There was nothing I could do to, to save your family. You know I would, if only I could. Please forgive me. Just did. Kimbia, 
Ever since you got into this camp, I've always looked out for you. There is no single day that I don't follow your every movement. Please. I love you, Gimbia. You are the only silver lining in the dark cloud that my life has become. Please, forgive me. I need you, Gimbia. We need each other. I don't understand you. Tomorrow is my day of ultimate sacrifice. Eh? Just like Aisha, Zaina and Samira before me. My suicide vest is waiting for me to adorn it. Ah! No! I have been commanded to go and unleash the explosive at the Kasuma Kowa tomorrow, right at the center of the market square. Oh. That is not going to happen. Choice? Yes, you do. We are living. When? How? We have been talking about living for the past three months now. Yet, nothing has happened. No definite plans. No funds. No money. How do you honestly think we can leave this place? How? Trust me, Gimbia. Now is the time. The time has come for us to leave. When? Tonight. Tonight? Yes, tonight. But how? The suicide vest will be given to us this evening after the training. What will I do with it? I mean, how will I dispose of it? Just leave that to me. Eh? Let me quickly strategize on how to raise some money. Eh? Meet me here immediately after the training session this evening. I'll be ready to move then, okay? Are you sure? Don't worry. I have a plan, okay? Just keep the faith, okay? Oh, okay. Here. 
the movement supersedes all forms of friendship. Nura, Nura, don't be stubborn. Oh. Ah. Please say something. I built to Sule. Don't let him do this to you, please. No. I am not going to beg for my life. Huh? Take me to the commander. Kill me if you have to do whatever you have to do. I have always known that your pride and stubbornness will be the death of people. No. I signed my own death warrant. The day I chose you as a friend and followed you to join this popular movement. Let me tell you, I begged you, but you wouldn't listen. Keep blabbing. Keep blabbing. How many times did I, did I warn you against your unrealistic views? How many times did I plead with you to stay true to the cause? But no, like the proverbial stubborn fly, you must follow the cops to the grave. You can't fool me, Suli. I know what this is all about. What is he talking about? This is just your way of getting your revenge at me for not allowing you to have your way with Gimbia. What? You had me, Sule. You had me. You are jealous of me for having a true love in this hopeless place. That is why you always target Gimbia attempting to sleep with her. How many times have you tried to rape her, Sule? Three, four, five times? I know you do it just to spite me. Deny it. Well, just yes. I don't only resent you for your love relationship with Gimbia. I hate you for it. Since Gimbia stepped into this camp, you changed. You changed. You lost your passion for the cause. You drifted away from me. You started talking about living. You were willing to embrace the amnesty. Gimbia became all you lived and, and prayed for. Uh, an offspring of an infidel for that matter. Look at me. Nura, take a good look at me. We are not allowed to live our normal lives anymore. We are condemned to live this life of horrid ho ho hopelessness. How then? How then can you hope to, to have a love relationship in here? Carry on so brazenly with your love affair without a care in the world. What makes you think you're, you're special and better than the rest of us? Sule, Sule, so you had all this bitterness bottled inside of you against me for this long? Well, congratulations. This is your moment of victory. But let me make something very clear to you. For a long time now, long before I met you, Gimbia has been all I live and breathe for. Infidel or no infidel, Gimbia is a huge part of my life okay. and I'm not going to apologize for my feelings for her. Neither am I going to beg you for my life because I'm no coward like you. Oh, <laughs> oh whatever man. Your time is up. Let's go! Ah! No, Sule! No, please don't do this, please. Nura is just another victim. We all are victims, please. <laughs> that is it, is it? Let's go! <laughs> Hold ah. Sule, stop! I am carrying this child. What? Nura. Nura, I am carrying your baby. Allah, Wakubar, Allah be, Allah be praised. Sule, Nura is the father of my unborn child. Surely that counts for something. Well, 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 that changes nothing. <laughs> Nura, Nura is dead meat already. He is dead meat already. Uh, however, and there is still hope for you, Gimbia. Eh? There is still hope for you. <laughs> if, you see, if you can uh, come to an agreement with me and cooperate with me, eh, I can arrange you and you will be back home in no time. Cooperate with you? Yes. As in, sleep with you? Yo. <laughs> 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 ah. 
Sule, are you serious? I have never been more serious in my entire life, my friend. Kimbia, at this moment, there is no more hope for me. But you can still be saved. Please, take his offer and return back home. I wouldn't want my child to be born or raised in a place like this. Please, do it for me. Do it for us. Do it for our unborn child. Let's go! You ask me to go home. Where is home? Who is home? No one awaits me at home. My home is you, Lura. My home is wherever you are. My child. My love. My life. My curse. Nora, wait for me. Since it has come to this, we all will go home together. Eh? Ah,